Hello, it's June 5th, 2014, episode number 22 of Weekly Woodworking Wrap-Up Review. How are you doing? I had a great week. I hope you did as well. Let me just stick this beer in this nice little beer koozie. Cozy. I got these nice little beer cozies for sale on my website for five bucks, free shipping in the U.S. One side it says Drunken Woodworker, the other side it says Make Something. How you like me now? All right, what have I been working on? Glad you asked, because here it is. This is a little six pack holder that I'm working on. It's gonna fit six little beers in here. It's got some dado edges on the side, and there's gonna be a centerpiece with a handle that goes into there. And then this is all gonna be reinforced with dowels. And I've been filming the whole thing, so hopefully this video will be out on Monday, Tuesday at the latest. I wanna get this done in time for Father's Day, so you guys can make your dad a happy little six pack holder. That is what I've been working on. What have you been working on? Congratulations to Steve Carmichael of the Carmichael Workshop for winning this year's two by four contest. If you're not familiar with the two by four contest, basically you have to take a two by four and make something out of it. And Steve did, he made this beautiful acoustic Telecaster style guitar out of one two by four. Look at that. That is crazy fantastic. Inspired by Hee Haw. Who doesn't love Hee Haw? For real. I made my new site live. That has been launched. Check that out here. I didn't get all the new features done in time, but I did want to push out the new site and we'll just launch some new features as we go. And one of the new features that I was able to add was viewer projects. So if you go here, you can click on viewer projects and Fans of the show can upload their projects here and share it with the rest of the world. And you can have a link back to your website. Right now, there's only one submission. So I encourage you to go to my site, upload your project, share it with everybody else, and tell us how you made that. Viewer projects, a new section on my website. All new design, and there's more features coming soon. If you enjoy the show, you might enjoy the website as well. So please go ahead and check that out. The Wood Whisper has a new monthly show coming out. It is called TWW Live, and the first episode will happen live this Friday, today for some of you, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's gonna be a live YouTube video. It's gonna have news, book, DVD, and tool reviews. Uh, he's gonna highlight some woodworkers in the community. Check out Mark Spagnolo's new show, TWW Live. Should be the first Friday of every month at 1 p.m. Eastern. A contest that is going on that you may be interested in on Instructables. It's a pallet contest, making projects out of pallets. We all love contests. Well, this one has some cool prizes, including an iPad mini and some new tools. Uh, there's already some submissions there, so you can go and check that out. So check out the pallet contest on Instructables. A ton of videos came out this past seven days. I had like 15 videos in the running for this week's episode and it's a lot of work to edit and put these videos into the weekly wrap up so I really had to narrow it down to seven so I went from 15 to seven just so I could have my sanity. Let's start off with Carl Jacobson, the end grain cutting board. We've all seen end grain cutting boards. There's lots of tutorials, there's lots of videos on how to make an end grain cutting board but I've never seen one on the lathe. Carl does that here. It's got a great technique. If you're not familiar with Carl, he's basically the world leader in teachings of the lathe. His videos are phenomenal. He's a great teacher. I used to watch Carl's videos even before I owned a lathe. Check out End Grain Cutting Board by Carl Jacobson. Doggy Gate by April Wilkerson. It's a beautiful looking gate and it fits well into the decor of her home. I just really, really like the design and the look of this gate. I have a dog and if I needed to make a doggy gate for my dog, it would only need to be like three inches high because I have a wiener dog. This is Weens. Weens meets my audience. Audience meet Weens. Isn't he just adorable? All right, Weens doesn't like being on the workbench, so I'm gonna let him go. Building a small table and painting it bright red by Darwin Ovar. This is Lynn's channel. What I really like about Lynn's videos is she tells a story. She's a great storyteller in her videos. If you want to make videos that, that people enjoy and love, add a story to them. Lynn does that so well. She's got a great skill for this. And so this is just a beautiful, simple, little, tiny red table. Thanks, Lynn, for your great videos. Good stuff. Next one is by Kyle 
Toth. I've been wanting to show Kyle off for a while now. Kyle is an amazing artist and a great, fantastic woodworker. And this is called 2201 Dining Table. Just this massively thick, huge dining table. This stuff is phenomenal. He's got a great brain for creation and creativity. I really love the feet on this table. Just the, the bottom part is using a light contrasting wood. It's just good stuff. Next video, building a dovetail tea chest case construction part two by Matthew Cremona. I don't normally highlight videos that are broken out into parts, but I wanted to show off this video because a viewer, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name, introduced me to Matthew's channel. This video only has 182 views. And I'm like, this guy, he's got great presentation. He's got a good camera presence and his video Videography is is great so I think more people need to see his videos it's well done he's got a great explanation of hand cutting dovetails with a little help of a bandsaw so check out this video by Matthew Cremona building a dovetail tea chest some of you were upset that I didn't highlight Jimmy Dyress's brownstone birdhouse last week because that came out I think on Thursday the day that I released this video just didn't make it into my notes in time so here's Jimmy Dyress's Brownstone Birdhouse. This thing is effing phenomenal. It's inspired by the buildings that surround him in New York City. He's using a CNC router to create the brick pattern on the outside. Just great attention to detail. Love it. Jimmy's videos are phenomenal. Love Jimmy's stuff. I thought Jimmy DiResta was just this kick-ass online content creator, and I didn't know that he was involved in a television show. It was just pointed out to me recently that he had a show, I don't remember what channel, the Discovery Channel or whatever, and it was called Dirty Money. And him and his brother and his brother's son will basically go and take junk, turn it into art, and then sell it at this weekly flea market in New York City. And it's on Netflix, and I've watched every episode that Netflix has. Uh, I think it's just one season of it. He's such a great artist. He can take things that is just junk to other people and turn it into beautiful pieces of art and then turn around and sell that. And what a great skill to have. Mad respect to Jimmy DiResta. Good stuff. I would like to send out an open invitation to Jimmy to come over for dinner sometime. We'll fry up some fish, we'll cook some steaks on the grill, whatever, I don't care. I just want you to come over, hang out and talk. So Jimmy, call me if you're up for it. Last video, wood boxes with linkage hinge lids by Carl Holmgren. This is a sweet ass hinge mechanism for a box. The video is a little long, but that's okay because Carl does an amazing job of explaining the process. He talks you through the entire video, explains it well, and just these beautiful boxes with these unique hinges on there that, that he makes. And he tells you exactly how you need to figure out where to place these hinges and, and everything. Just good stuff. Really good stuff by Carl. At the time of this recording, this video only has 131 views. And I'm like, why does this guy not have more views? Because these videos are fantastic. And once again, a viewer sent me this. I don't have my email in front of me. I'm sorry to whoever sent it to me. Thank you for sending me these videos. This is fantastic. I really do appreciate when you guys let me know of, of these videos that I might not know about. I love presenting this to everybody else and like let's just grow this entire community and, and make woodworking this force. Mm. Check out Wood Boxes and Linkage Hin Lids by Carl Holmgren. Good stuff. So last week I introduced my beer cozies here and I called them beer koozies and uh, apparently that upset Ian quite a bit and here's his email it's not a koozie it's a cozy the o is a long o as in nose it's a beer version of a tea cozy Ian dude sorry okay it's a beer cozy I thought it was a beer koozie shit you know the thing is I date a speech therapist you would think I would know how to pronounce and say things but I don't I don't even pay attention to her. <laughs> hey, Kelly. I love you. Podcasts that come out this week. Shop Talk Live number 60 and Wood Talk number 185. If you're into audio podcasts about woodworking, check those two out. Just as a reminder, I do have some beer cozies for sale. It says make something on one side drunken woodworker on the other side. I also got some more t-shirts in. These are on solid black 
with the white drunken woodworker logo printed on American apparel. I've had black shirts in before, but that was on a tri-blend, so it was kind of like a black grayish speckle. These ones are solid black. American apparel makes the most comfortable t-shirts in the world, if you ask me. They are printed locally by a great friend of mine, John from Jupe Mode. If you guys own a business or you ever need t-shirts, contact Jupe Mode. The work is fantastic, super cool people, and they really care about putting out a quality product. So check out Jupe Mode. Boom. Oh, another feature I have on my website is buy me a beer. If you like what I'm doing and you don't want to buy a t-shirt and you don't want to buy a beer cozy, buy me a beer. There's a little donation button on my website. You can donate me two bucks or five bucks or whatever and help support the show. Next week, let's talk about your summer projects. In the comments on my YouTube page below, tell me what you plan on building this summer, or at least what you want to build this summer, and we'll talk about that next week. I've got a couple summer projects. I want to build an outdoor workbench so I can do some sanding and some other things outside of my workshop and enjoy the beauty and the sun and the great weather that we have here in Ohio. So, in the comments below, tell me what your summer projects are. That about wraps it up. I am David Picciuto, the drunken woodworker. Stay passionate and make something. To keep up with me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and Etsy. And be sure to check out my website at drunkenwoodworker.com.